Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you five different recipes using this rotisserie chicken and a crock pot. Um, these are gonna be fast, simple, and easy dishes. I love crock pot recipes. If I could have all my dishes be crock pot recipes, um, that would be fantastic. Um, so um, grab your crock pot and grab your rotisserie chicken and let's get cooking. To start us off, I'm gonna be making a creamy chicken and I usually put rice over it. So at the bottom of the crock pot, you're going to put two cans of Rotel's and then a packet of taco seasoning or you can do about an ounce of taco seasoning and then an ounce of dry ranch seasoning as well. Two cups of chicken broth. Now, when I made this, it did turn out to be a little bit more runny, so if you like things a little bit thicker, then definitely cut that down to about a, one cup. And then you're gonna add in one can of corn, and then you can add in any type of beans that you like. I like um, these ranch-style beans. They turn out to be really good. Um, I ended up putting in another can of just um, black beans. Um, it just seemed like it needed some more. So you can add two cans if you want or you can just add in one. And then I put in a package of cream cheese and I stirred it together. And then I put the lid on and let it cook on low for four hours. And then when the four hours is up, this is what it's gonna look like. After it's done cooking, you really want to make sure you mix up that cream cheese and make sure it's all smoothed out and um, combined into the mixture. And then you'll add in your four cups of rotisserie chicken and your one cup of cheese. And then you'll just let it cook for probably another 30 minutes just to make sure all the cheese is melted and incorporated. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. It should be nice, thick, and creamy. And I always serve that over rice. Another option is to have it with chips. It could be kind of like nachos, and it's really good as well. Up next is cheesy chicken spaghetti. This one is super simple, and it does not have a lot of ingredients, so it's awesome. We're going to put in one cup of chicken broth, a can of Rotel's, one package of cream cheese, one cup of Velveeta, and then four cups of rotisserie chicken. And I love to put this Creole seasoning on almost everything. Another YouTuber that I have watched, she puts it on everything and I just absolutely love it. It has a great flavor. So I just put maybe like, uh, I don't know, probably half a tablespoon on it. And then I put the lid on and let it cook. And then I got started on my spaghetti noodles once the time was getting close to being done. About 30 minutes before my crock pot was going to be done, I went ahead and started my noodles. I put in about a pound of spaghetti. You can use whatever kind of noodles you want. The thicker spaghetti noodles, angel hair. Usually I do angel hair, but for this, I went ahead and just did thin spaghetti. And I put it in the crock pot. I put it in a little bit at a time. I didn't want to put in too much and it um, not turn out the, the way that I like. So I just put in a little bit at a time and started up until it was the thickness that I like. I went ahead and used all of it. And here is the final product and it was very, very delicious. Okay, you guys, you cannot get any simpler than this. This only has four ingredients. It's super simple. This is just chicken and noodles. So right now I'm just putting in cream of chicken soup. And then I have four cups of chicken broth. And then I will put in 24 ounces of egg noodles. And then you'll add in your four cups of rotisserie chicken and you'll let it cook. And sometimes it gets pretty thick, so you can add more water or more chicken broth. It's just however thick or thin that you want it. I did put in, I think maybe a cup or two more of water 
just because as it cooks, it gets, it gets pretty thick. You can serve it like this, or you can put it over mashed potatoes, which is what my family enjoys. Okay, so for this crock pot recipe, we're just gonna need three ingredients. Um, we just need some taco seasoning. We'll use about one and a half packets. And then um, we'll need a rotisserie. Probably only need about half of the rotisserie for this meal. And then um, this um, pepper and onion blend. You can cut them up, um, like you can do fresh ones if you want. Um, I just had this on hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this up. So and this has onions, bell peppers, red bell peppers, and green bell peppers. So it's perfect for this meal. And then you're just gonna use a little bit of water as well, which I didn't put in here, but these are, these are all the ingredients you're gonna need. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so I have my rotisserie chicken and it came out to be close to four cups of rotisserie chicken. And I'm just making sure that they're smaller pieces and making sure everything's even and then i'm putting in my taco seasoning i have that big container which is i probably do about a, a tablespoon um or you can use a packet it's totally up to you and then i'm putting in my peppers which i used half of that bag so about 10 to 12 ounces is what you'll want for this meal and then i went ahead and put the rotels on top of that and i let it cook I served this meal with some tortillas and some rice, and this was the most delicious and moist uh, fajitas that I've made. I'm gonna start having to make them in the crock pot from now on. Okay, and for the last one, I have Italian chicken pasta. I have my rotisserie chicken, so I'm gonna put my three cups of rotisserie chicken at the very bottom of the crock pot. And then I have my marinara sauce. This one I got from Aldi's. I love shopping at Aldi's. Um, you can just pour that right on over the chicken. And then you're gonna put your package of cream cheese on top of that. You'll add your minced garlic and also your onions. You can use fresh onions or you can use the frozen one. In this video, I went ahead and used the frozen one just cause it was easier and I had it on hand. All right, and it's not Italian pasta if you don't put Italian seasoning in it. So I put in about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and then I went ahead and added in some bay leaves at the very last. I kind of forgot about it. All right, and we're gonna let this bad boy cook for a couple hours, and then when it is done, this is what it's gonna look like. It is so good. If you like spaghetti, then you'll like this. My husband doesn't like spaghetti, so he didn't like it because he's very, very weird. <laughs> but this is really, really good, so if you're tired of spaghetti, this is a really good alternative. Now that my crock pot is done cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start my noodles. I went ahead and added in a package, which is about a pound of pasta. You can add in any type of pasta. Um, I like rotini or like the, the spirally ones. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're really good for something like this. I went ahead and added in penne pasta and it turned out to be really good. Um, I just went ahead and mixed it and it was ready to serve. You can serve it with salad or whatever you like. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. 